See, poker is a game of decisions. Some decisions are very, very hard, like you're playing against a really good player and he's check-raised you and you know he does this with a range of hands, some of which are beating, some of which are beating you, and some of which, if you raise him, he'll fold because he's bluffing. So you can have really, really hard decisions in poker. But you also have really, really easy decisions in poker, like somebody goes all in and you've got pocket aces. Not much to it. So what if we were to choose to make the very easy decisions? so that when we get to that spot where we have a hard decision, we've actually made decisions along the way to make it easy. And there's a few ways that we can do this. You know, we can before the flop. A lot of people love to play um, Gus Hansen style, very loose aggressive, but the decisions are really, really hard. Um, being out of position, you know, raising from under the gun, even with a very strong hand like kings or aces, makes for hard decisions later in the hand and playing a badly sized pot makes for hard decisions. So if somebody's trying to put us to a decision for all of our chips and we've got top pair, that's going to be a really hard decision. So these are the three things that we can control. We can choose not to play weak hands. We can choose not to play out of position. We can choose to size the pot correctly for our hand. This means if we've got a very, very strong hand like the nuts, we want to play a very big pot. If we have a very weak hand like top pair or maybe even um, middle pair, we want to play a very, very small pot. The crux is, folding before the flop is a really easy decision. You can always fold. It doesn't matter what card you have. If you have aces, you can choose to fold the flop uh, before the flop, and that makes the decisions for the rest of the hand really, really easy because there are no decisions to make. So that's how I try to explain what hands you should start with. You need to extrapolate over the course of the entire poker hand how hard your decisions are going to be based on your position, the strength of your cards, and the size of the pot you're planning on building. If everything's not um, perfectly aligned, you can fold the hand. You're not losing money by folding the hand.